These covers are totally indestructible. Really? Yeah. Throw it. I promise it won't break. Check it. Oh no, it's broken. What? No, it's fine. I told you it wouldn't break. You could throw it all day long. That is so cool. Thanks, Dwight. Yep. So, I guess Pam and Dwight are friends now. Oh, God, no. Dwight isn't my friend. Oh my God, Dwight's kind of my friend. Tired. Dwight, can't Just lay take down. a break. Wake up. Ah! Wait, here, let me help you, Dwight. Come okay, on. Okay, I'm just going to get a bath. Get up. Get the bath. Yeah. Just keep him away. It smells like chicken soup. I know. I have to go to the hospital. I know. Where are we going? I just want to say goodbye, okay? Well, I'll be back. I mean... Yes, I know, but it's going to be different. Why? It's just hard to explain. Oh, Pam, you're adorable. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Come here. Oh, huggy <laughs> hugs. Who did this to you? Where is he? What? No, it's not, it's nothing. It's hot in here. Yeah. You don't need to stay here. I know. <laughs> so you're PMSing pretty bad, huh? <laughs> You know, I'm the only one here that you haven't asked about the new office. I know, because you're the reason we're moving. Yeah, but I'm still an employee here. And that part of me is really excited about the change of scenery. What's the square footage in the new place? Uh, I think it's something like... Um... What's the exact square footage? Um, let me see. How many offices are there? Oh, I'll just look at the one sheet myself. Uh, actually, I don't know what I did with the one sheet. You know, that's the problem. You only have one sheet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're a funny guy, Pam. What's the first thing you guys are going to do when you move in to the new office? I'm going to walk down the hall and I'm going to say, wow, I can't believe this is real. But it is. I can't wait. Mm -hmm. I lied about some aspects of the building. It's still on a bike path, though, right? There's no building. It doesn't exist. What does that mean? I needed leverage, so I pulled those pictures off the internet. It's just this... this office administrator thing. I don't want to... What? Fail. I don't want to fail again. But you didn't fail. That's what you said about art school, and that's what you said about sales. And you didn't fail those things either. Well, I'm not an artist, and I'm not a salesman. So what would you call it? Hey. Hey, 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 hey. It's a miracle. She loves him. I don't know about Love. She loves me. Outside my car, two minutes. All right, something's come up. I gotta go. No, 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 no. She'll wake up. No, I have something to do. I know what you have to do. Please stay with Cece. Dwight, I've always considered us to be very good friends, great friends. Remember your concussion? I do. But you married my worst enemy. I know. Well, I think enemy's a strong word. Because I think we have a really charming back and forth. And us. Through... I will require beer and pizza to think this over. Absolutely. From Jim. Well, I don't think that's going to happen. Do it. Happen. What kind of pizza would you like? Surprise me. No. Pepperoni. Hello? Hello? You're breaking the law. Impossible. I love the law. Read Article 19. 
There are certain standards that you have to maintain the building at, and that includes comfortable temperatures and adequate lighting. It also means no more cutting the tampons in two, and no more tampering with the toilet paper. You see, I've underestimated you, and I didn't think that was possible. Nate, reply the paper. I, I don't think it goes that way. Reply it! Dwight's car is gone. I bet he went home. Some of us should go there, try to talk some sense into him. Get him to stop that email. Pam, you should come with me. Dwight really likes you and your breasts are enormous. That could help us. Yeah. Oh, hey, Molly. Um, you should just quit. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Oh, and uh, Molly, I know it can't be easy working for Jan. Good luck with your feelings. Dwight, that was really nice. You should ask for her number. Oh, I got her number. 415-YCL. That's the license number? That's all you need. And when I have curried favor with her, I will let you know. Oh, why me? Because you are my friend. And you are a woman. And women love gossip. It's like air to you people. Oh, God. Conference room, everybody, now. You don't have the clearance to call a conference room meeting. Yes, but David Wallace does. And he asked me to gather everyone to talk about stuff that's going to be revealed once we're in the conference room for the meeting. You're telling me David Wallace asked you to call a super secret classified conference room meeting? Yeah. Let's go, everyone. Super secret classified conference room meeting now. Let's go. They say the best vampires don't bleed their victims dry but give them the strength so that they can bounce back only to be fed on again. I spared Pam that I might feast off of her profits for years to come. I let Pam win. <laughs> I was not motivated by compassion. I have no compassion. Make sure you got that. Not motivated by compassion. <laughs> Pam, no, 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 come on, guys. Don't go. Pam, I'll help you. You will? If there's anything I hate worse than art, it's crime. Thank you. I am in too, Pam. Yeah? Yes, of course. I believe in you, I believe in your art, and I am bored. Great. I was hoping for a righteous mob. I ended up with Dwight and Nellie. But they both have a mob mentality, and I'm pretty sure Dwight has a pitchfork in his car. You need my pitchfork? Dude, there is no way that Jim is just back here to hang out with Pam. Oh, you did not just say that. You don't know Pam, she is really cool. I'm done, what are you? Is that supposed to be my mural? Yeah, Frank draws a butt on your mural. I'm drawing your mural on Frank's truck's butt. Eye for an eye, mamacita. Oh, Dwight, that's really sweet. Let's see yours. Oh, no, um, I, I'm embarrassed. It's stupid. This is amazing! <laughs> Frank! And he's leaving a trail of poops? Yeah. <laughs> and he has saggy boobs. <laughs> I saw that. It's great! <sighs> I feel better. Good. I'm glad you feel better. This has been a wonderful day. I have to say, I like hanging out with a vengeful bitch. I know. You miss Angela, don't you? Ugh, don't sympathize. You're ruining the mood. Back to work. Draw his penis. But if you're ever in the area, you'll always have a place to stay. In my barn. There it is. Do I get along with my coworkers? Well, first of all, I don't have coworkers anymore. I have subordinates. So, have I gotten along with my subordinates? Let's see. My supplier relations rep, Meredith Palmer, is the only person I know who knows how to properly headbang to Motorhead. Oscar Martinez, my accountant, is now godfather to my son. Angela Schrute, my former accountant, is now my wife. My top salesman, Jim Halpert, was best man at my wedding. And office administrator, Pamela Beasley Halpert, is my best friend. So, yes, I'd say I have gotten along with my subordinates. <laughs>